Yeah, it's your guy Kimbo Greedy, man. Check this out. You ain't got to like him, but you gonna motherfucking me respect me. Hey, man, Megan Thee Stallion. I knew you was a little fucked up. I knew you could have been from Oak Cliff, Pleasant Grove, or somewhere in Dallas. This must be a Texas thing, that mind state. But when you got on that stand and said you wish Tory had just killed you because they talking about your uh, sex life or your personal life in the courtroom, what the fuck do you do y'all think come along with pressing charges on somebody or going to trial? Oh, they gonna get all deep in your motherfucking business, but why does it bother you when y'all done told you done told the whole world you got that wet ass pussy, the hot girl summer talking about how you would never let a nigga play you, how you toss niggas and you and your best friend with her little pretty ass, how y'all uh be knocking niggas down and y'all share everything. Now all of a sudden you want to get in the courtroom and it hurts your feelings because they talking about your sexual life, your sex life in the courtroom. Baby, y'all tell us, you tell us all on your music. That shit crazy. Then, Kelsey, really? You plead the fifth? So, Megan's homegirl, Kelsey, took the stand today and said she pleads the fifth due to the fact she might incriminate herself. Man, if y'all really doing this shit and y'all doing Tory like this, man, knowing Tory didn't shoot this dude, man, this is going to be fucked up. Women, y'all already hate niggas like me, alpha male niggas that talk shit. Y'all gonna hate the fuck out of me. If Tory is innocent, y'all gonna hate the fuck out of me, watch. Person was shocked. Every single person was frozen. A lot of people were looking at me like, bro, tell me what is going on. Kelsey took the stand before she even started talking. There were fireworks. This started with Kelsey coming in and saying she is invoking her Fifth Amendment right to remain silent and not testify. When someone invokes the Fifth Amendment, they have to be invoking it because if they were to testify, they would be giving testimony that incriminates themselves. She said, I will not testify because I would be giving testimony that I'm incriminating myself. That's what it means when she invoked the Fifth Amendment. Now, the government offered her immunity. They said that we will not prosecute you and use this testimony against you, so please testify. Her lawyer came back and said, well, that's not good enough. I don't want you to just not use her testimony against her. I want you to confirm to me that you will not prosecute her for any crimes arising out of this instance, out of this situation. The prosecutors said, yes, on the record, we will not be charging Kelsey for anything that came out of this incident. And then she testified. I'm gonna go over the whole testimony in the next video, but here's the piece that we just left off at lunch. The courtroom is just, I can't even explain the tension. They asked her, at one point, did Tori ever say that I'll shoot you? And she said, I'm invoking my Fifth Amendment right, which suggests, they, they asked her, what's the context? When did he say, I'm gonna shoot you? She said, I invoke the Fifth, which suggests that the context was Kelsey was doing something, perhaps Meg was also doing something that would incriminate her. That's the context. That's what I get from it. That's my opinion. That's my read of it. For those of you who have been telling me that I'm biased and that there's only one angle to this story and that a man pulled a gun and shot five times, at another woman and that the prosecutors haven't charged him with attempted murder but i'm biased if you believe the story that a man pulled a gun and shot five times at another woman he hasn't been charged with attempted he hasn't been charged with attempted murder and now you have another woman in the car saying i plead the fifth 